Hello and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hi there. In this video, I want to show you how to change the default text that goes out with the emails that you send to your client. So you know what I'm talking about. You send them an invoice and the default text doesn't really have your voice to it. Let's go ahead and correct that. In the upper right hand corner, we click on the gear and then we go to account and settings. On the left hand side, we're going to click on sales. And then we're going to look for down to messages and then default e email messages sent with forms. I'm going to click on the pencil. And then I can change it and I can say, okay, my sales form and I'll, I could change all of these, but I can just work on the invoice for now. And so invoice number from, and then this is the business name. And then here is the email message. And it says, we appreciate your business. Find the email, blah, blah. Um, that's not really my style. Um, so the greeting dear full name, I might say, gosh, I wish the word hi was here, but that's fine. Uh, let's go dear first name. So I don't need to put dear or hi or any of that because that's already set up. I'm then going to go into the email message. Um, thank you for your business uh, period enclosed. Please find your invoice. Thanks, Rachel. Whatever you want to write, this will be your default text. If you don't already know, you can change the text before sending the, the email invoice, but I just wanted to show you how to change the default text in case you have words that you would prefer to use in most cases. You can set up a CC or a BCC. Um, for example, I have some clients that will BCC me if I need to know when they send out invoices because it'll trigger me to do some other work within their QuickBooks. They'll just set me up as a BCC. So I can click save. So then there's reminders. I can change my text for reminders, right? You get the idea here. I, I realize this has been very brief. I wanted to show you where to go and just give you inspiration for what you might want to change if you don't like what is set up as default. I hope this video has been helpful. If my team or I can help you with anything, you can find us at gentlefrog.com. If there's a video you'd like to see me create, please don't hesitate to leave it in the comments below. Thank you so much and have a great day.